If you're pronouncing these brands Adidas, Nivea, Volkswagen, then this video is a must watch. Today I'm going to demystify how to pronounce some of Germany's biggest brand names. From Birkenstock to Porsche, it's time to get your pronunciation game on point. So if you're ready to impress your German speaking friends and colleagues, join me on this pronunciation journey. If you're new to the channel, herzlich willkommen. I'm Salome, a certified native German teacher and polyglot from France. Frankfurt. This channel, Speak Fluent German, is dedicated to helping you build your confidence and conversation skills in authentic German so you can feel more at home and less like a tourist in the German-speaking countries. I upload weekly lessons to help you take your German skills to the next level. So if this is the kind of content that you like, then make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified every time I upload something new. All right, let's get started with the first brand, Adidas. Adidas. Adidas is a globally recognized sportswear brand, but surprisingly, many people still mispronounce its name. The Adidas brand was founded in 1949 by a German man named Adolf Dassler. The name Adidas is actually a combination of his first and last name. Adi and Das. The brand quickly gained popularity and became known for its innovative designs and high quality products. Now when it comes to the pronunciation of the name, the key is to remember that S in this case is actually pronounced like a harsh S sound. So the correct pronunciation is Adidas with the emphasis on the first syllable. So it's not Adidas or Adidas, but Adidas. It is important to know that this is the German pronunciation and in other languages such as English it is often pronounced with an emphasis or with a different accent altogether. Next up let's talk about one of the biggest candy brands in the world. Haribo. Haribo macht Kinder froh und Erwachsene ebenso. The proper way to pronounce Haribo is Haribo. But where did the name actually come from? Haribo is an acronym for the founder's name and hometown. Hans Riegel founded Haribo in Bonn, Germany in 1920. The name Haribo comes from Hans, Riegel and Bonn. Riegel originally started the company as a fruit gum manufacturer, but it wasn't until 1922 that he created the first gummy candy, the beloved gummy bear. Today Haribo is one of the world's leading gummy candy brands with a wide variety of flavors and shapes. So the next time you're enjoying some Haribo gummies, remember to pronounce it Haribo. And think about the man who started it all, Hans Riegel. The next brand offers products that you've likely have seen before when looking for a facial cream or a body lotion. It's Nivea. Nivea. Not Nivea or Nivea. Nivea is a German skincare brand that was first manufactured in 1911 by the company Bayersdorf. The name Nivea is derived from the Latin word Niveus, which means snow white. Therefore, Nivea is pronounced as Nivea. Nivea. Another brand that my English speaking friends are always surprised about when I tell them how it's actually pronounced is the brand Knorr. Knorr. Knorr is a German food and beverage brand founded in 1838 by Karl Heinrich Theodor Knorr. The brand has since then become a global leader in seasoning, soups and condiments. Knorr is pronounced with the hard K sound followed by a long O sound and two R sounds, which are actually silent R's. So if you want to learn more about how to pronounce the actual German R that a lot of German learners struggle with, then definitely check out this video right here, where I break it down into a step-by-step -step tutorial. In this case, however, we've got two so-called silent R's. So it's pronounced Knorr, yeah? Not Knorr or Knorr, but Knorr. Knorr. From food to shoes, this is pronounced Birkenstock in German. The name stems from the German shoemaker Johann Adam Birkenstock, who created the original sandal design in the 18th century. Let's break down the word first and take a look at its components. Die Birke means the birch tree and der Stock is a stick. So Birkenstock literally translates to birch tree stick. So the correct pronunciation of Birkenstock is Birkenstock. The Bier is pronounced with a short I sound, like in the word for bird. Then it's Ken with a short E sound and Stock with an SCH sound combined with a T. Sht. Sht. So when you put it all together, it's Bier. Ken Stock. When it comes to German brands, we obviously need to talk about cars. 
German cars are well known for their excellent engineering and high safety standards. They also have a reputation for innovative technology and stylish designs. So let's get started with the first one, Mercedes. Benz. The name Mercedes is derived from the name Mercedes, which was originally the surname of a Spanish businessman's daughter. The businessman Gottlieb Daimler named one of his first automobiles after her. The name Benz is derived from Karl Benz, who was a German engineer and inventor. He invented the world's first gasoline-powered automobile 1886. When pronouncing Mercedes Benz, the emphasis of the word should be placed on the first syllable of Mercedes and the last syllable of Benz. So it should be pronounced as Mercedes Benz. It is also important to note that the C sound here in Mercedes is more like a harsh TS sound. Tss, tss. Mercedes. Mercedes Benz. Another popular car brand is, of course, Audi. Repeat after me Audi with the emphasis on the first syllable. Audi is a Latin translation of the founder's last name, August Horch. Horch means to hear in German. When Horch left his previous company, he couldn't use his own name for legal reasons, so he chose Audi instead. The company was founded in 1909 and has since then become a highly respected luxury car brand. Next up is BMW. BMW is a German car brand that stands for Bayerische Motorenwerke, which translates to Bavarian Motor Works. The company was founded in 1916 as a manufacturer of aircraft engines and later shifted its focus to motorcycles and automobiles. The blue and white logo represents the colors of the Bavarian state flag as BMW is headquartered in Munich. In order to pronounce it correctly, you need to pronounce each letter in German individually. So the correct pronunciation pronunciation is B M V BMW. This brand right here is pronounced Porsche. Not Porsche or Porsche, but Porsche. The name Porsche comes from the founder Ferdinand Porsche, who started his own engineering company in 1931. The company initially focused on designing and engineering vehicles for other companies, including the Volkswagen Beetle. In 1948, the first Porsche sports car was produced, the Porsche 856. To properly pronounce the German car brand Porsche, the first syllable should be pronounced like Por with a short O sound followed by Sch with a soft S sound. In German, the stress is on the first syllable. Porsche. Porsche. When talking about German cars, we of course cannot forget about Volkswagen. Volkswagen, which means people's car in German, is a well-known car brand that was founded in 1937. The first Volkswagen, known as the Beetle, was produced in 1938 and quickly became popular due to its affordability and reliability. The car was also popular in the United States and became a symbol of the counterculture movement of the 1960s. Today, Volkswagen Volkswagen is one of the largest car manufacturers in the world. The word Volkswagen consists of two components. Das Volk, which means the people. Here the V is pronounced as an F sound. Yeah, Das Volk. And der Wagen, which means the wagon. And here the W is pronounced like a V sound. Wagen. Volkswagen. That was the last one for now. Let me know in the comments below which ones you've always mispronounced and which other German brand names you want me to cover next. If you have enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe. Also check out these two videos right here as well to take your German pronunciation to the next level. Das ist alles für heute. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss!